please welcome your host, teen pop sensation, Adam Buxton. I love videos. I love music. But if there's one thing that I love more than videos and music, it's music videos. I love to watch them and I hope that you do too because i got some on my laptop and I'm going to show them to you quite soon. Thanks very much. <laughs> Thanks for watching Bug here on Sky Atlantic HD. I'm Adam Buxton, and this is a show that celebrates the world of music video. We hope to introduce you to a few extraordinary pieces of work you haven't seen before. But if you have, we'll be shedding new light on some of them via the comments of Earthlings connected to the Internet. I don't know if you've heard of the Internet before. Uh, it's kind of like a, um, a giant, dirty bookshop. <laughs> but it's got a very small, non-pornographic section at the front. <laughs> And hovering in the doorway between those two sections with its laptop open and a smutty smile on its face <laughs> is Bug. So let's open this evening's suitcase and take a look at what's inside. Um, oh, well, here's where I keep all my ideas for shit Jennifer Aniston films. <laughs> now, there's a lot of money to be made from these because a lot of women, like my wife, um, you know... <laughs> A lot of women, like my wife, work very hard and they're tired in the evenings and they want to be entertained. So they get fed up with films with guns or superheroes or stories and ideas and they just want to have some nice gen time. So what's the harm in that? Plus, these are going to make me quite a lot of money. Uh, I'm especially excited about Jen having to choose between eight salads, um, which I think is a fun idea for a film. What else have we got here? Oh, garage band jingles that I haven't used and that is... Empty. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> let's begin with our first video tonight. And this one is for South London-based musical comedy duo Pig with the Face of a Boy. Good name for a band. That's Dan Wood and Donald Newholm there. They hooked up with first-time director Chris Lindsay through their Facebook page. They said, would anyone like to make a video for our song? And uh, Chris got in touch and he taught himself how to use After Effects to create the video for their track, A Complete History of the Soviet Union, arranged to the melody of Tetris. Um, <laughs> that's a good name for a song. The full version of this epic is nearly seven minutes long, so we'll be showing you the partial Complete History of the Soviet Union, arranged to the melody of Tetris, and afterwards, we'll be getting some valuable perspective with the help of the internet commentary community. But first, here's Pig with the Face of a Boy. What a feast there could be if we could create a socialist state that cared for the people like me. I am the man who arranges the blocks that descend upon me from up above. They come down and I spin them around Till they fit in the ground like hand in glove Sometimes it seems that to move blocks is fine And the lines will be formed as they fall Then I see that I have misjudged it I should not have nudged it after all Let the workers unite A collective regime of peace and love I work so hard in arranging the blocks But the landlord and taxman bleed me dry But the workers will rise We will not compromise For we know that the old regime must die Long live Lenin Kill I 
I am the man who arranges the blocks that continue to fall from up above. The food on your plate now belongs to the state, a collective regime of peace and love. Long live Stalin, he loves you. Sing these words or you know what he'll do. I am the man who arranges the blocks that are made by the men in Kazakhstan. They come two weeks late and they don't tessellate, but we're working to Stalin's five-year plan. Work of Chris Lindsay there for Pig with the Face of a Boy. So, of course, if you're seriously interested in politics and history, there's really only one place to exchange views and enjoy debate with your intellectual peers. Of course, I'm talking about the internet. <laughs> uh, let's check out a few genuine comments for that video that I read underneath, and we begin with one from Zero Snipes 71, who says, Fuck the USSR, Germany is the real <laughs> superior country. <laughs> now, I'm not sure if uh, Zero Snipe 71 is what they call a troll, i.e. someone who is just uh, putting a contentious point of view out there just for the fun of it, uh, or if he genuinely believes that. But one way or another, he gets a lot of responses to that comment. <laughs> and <laughs> there's a long debate, concluding charmingly there. <laughs> With Dio Vlog's comment. That's a fun phrase, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's a good one to use if you have a family um, <laughs> at home in stressful family times. <laughs> Here's a comment from Kling Blang 24 who's upset by all the political posturing and arguing going on underneath the video, and says, wait just one second. Are people actually arguing over government? One, taboo subject. Never talk about it. It always leads to a fight. <laughs> Two, it's a fucking song. It's pointless to argue about. Life isn't always about arguing. Can't you people just shut the fuck up for once? This video is here for us to enjoy. Why are we fighting about it? Now sit back, calm your tits, and eat or something in your life for once. Calm your tits. Please, madam, calm those unruly tits. At this point, we meet Proxy Mated. He was mated by Proxy. <laughs> and he says, I'm Russian, and I lived in the times of Soviet. Amazing how people know next to nothing about such a big part of world history. <laughs> <laughs> I support this. <laughs> Smiling. <laughs> I, I'm, I don't know what it is he supports, if it's the uh, ignorance or... <laughs> <laughs> I think he supports the video. Uh, Ultra JD replies to Proxy Mated, I respect your people. <laughs> but I am bitter to them as well. <laughs> because I lost a great grandfather to the purges. <coughs> Proxy Mated replies, uh, okay. <laughs> your grandfather fought a pointless war that changed nothing. <laughs> It's questionable why US troops were there in the first place. In fear of communism, of course. Big waste of lives. <laughs> Understandably perplexed <laughs> by that comment, Ultra JD replies once more, what does fighting a war have to do with my great-granddad dying in one of Stalin's purges? Approximated explains, I'll be honest. <laughs> I was a little drunk. <laughs> I thought you were talking about Vietnam. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> and finally, Ultra JD replies, Ah, don't worry, I've done the same thing. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving to you too. <laughs> okay, now, look. I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but... I think that we could both really use a break. Just a bit of time for us both to consider some products and services that might make our lives even more wonderful. <laughs> I'm not saying that we should see other channels. <laughs> I just think a bit of time apart would do us good. And when you come back, I promise things are going to be better. <laughs> see you soon. Welcome back to Bud. 
good to see you again. I missed you. Although, if this relationship's going to work, we need to set some ground rules. Was that you that put the teaspoons in with the big cereal spoons? I kind of like to keep them separate. <laughs> <laughs> so please don't do that again, thanks. <laughs> OK, now, our next video is by a team of directors based in Paris, and they are called L'Ogre, or The Ogre. Uh, and we asked them for a picture of themselves, and they sent through that. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not L'Ogre, but they said, uh, this is a picture of what is in our heads. <laughs> uh, they are very talented, though, and I'm about to show you a video of theirs for a great song called 70 Million by a French seven-piece called Hold Your Horses. L'Ogre used uh, simple props and absolutely perfect lighting to lovingly and humorously recreate a selection of very well-known paintings for the track 70 Million. And I tell you, if you don't like this video, I cannot help you. <laughs> Oh, look, it's my favorite kind of woman. <laughs> Fun, bit of French fun. 70 million by Hold Your Horses there. And I'm delighted to say that director David Fremont of Logre, uh, who were responsible for that promo, agreed to make a video specially for Bug featuring one of my own extraordinary tracks, the Coming Back from Holiday Blues, which we'll play at the end of the show. But before that, and speaking of holidays, this year, why not try something closer to home? Have you considered the British Riviera? If it's half as lovely as director David Wilson makes it look in the video for The Bay by Torquay Natives Metronomy, then watch out, Devon, Dr. Buckles is coming. But did the video impress the local YouTubers as much as it did me? Find out after a quick look round the bay.
work of top leg and lolly man David Wilson there for their fantastic metronomy. But how did that video go down with, say, someone who lives close to Torquay, Devon, where that was filmed? Let's take a look at some genuine comments and find out. And the first one is from Any Day No, who says, I live close to Torquay, Devon, where this was filmed. They made it look fucking amazing. <laughs> Must have taken a while. <laughs> it's dog shit. <laughs> Good effort, though. <laughs> Your mum loves electro. Your mum loves electro. <laughs> she does. Says, dude, I wouldn't straddle the benches on that pier. <laughs> Even I've pissed on them. Circumambulation22 says, I was surprised when I saw a girl on the drums, but then they hit me with a black dude on the bass. <laughs> Great song and video, though. <laughs> what? What's going on with them? Why are they... They've got all that... This is a totally integrated band. <laughs> um, at this point, we meet Louis Smith, 22, who says, The first song I chose to listen to in my adult life. I turned 18 one minute ago. Hey, good choice, I think. 137 people agree. A very good choice. And welcoming Louis Smith to the adult world is Charles Brading here, who says, Gay! <laughs> Auto Recolate says to Louis Smith, Real adult is 21, kid. Nice try. <laughs> That's hard. Uh, Miel Mielu, 27, says, in America, sure, but we Europeans mature faster. Sorry for you, bro. <laughs> and the screw-on head replies, if I had a nickel for every condescending <laughs> European on YouTube. <laughs> to which Sammy Garters, too, the second of the Sammy Garters, replies, sorry, I think you mean Penny. <laughs> We saw the amazing 70 million video made by David Fremond and the team at Logre. Well, uh, and there's David there with his trusty stuffed fox. Well, recently I took a trip to Paris armed only with David's address, a tiny budget, and my song, The Coming Back from Holiday Blues, which details that peculiarly painful melancholy that sets in as a holiday comes to an end. Here's what Monsieur Fremond and Logre and I came up with. Oh, c'est le fin de les vacances. Uh, it is so sad. Au revoir, you English pants. I'm on my summer holidays in France. Eat food, drink booze, I don't wear shoes, and very seldom pants. But in three days I have to travel home. And I'd watch my tan just fade away Neath English skies of flinty grey I've got the coming back from holiday blues From my sun hat down to my flip-flop shoes There's still three days of my holiday left But the thought of going home is making me depressed Each sunset now is tinged with tears And the tears are dripping into my beers And the beers are running out And so are the days Till I have to go back to my ordinary ways Can't you leave me here? Beer, lying in the summer sun, having semi nude fun. Why can't the bad times just be never and the good times last forever? Now I'm home and I'm opening the horrible mail And I haven't paid the bills and I'm going to jail And the news that I missed is making me sad And there's something in the fridge that smells very bad Have to wait another year Till I'm drinking French beer Lying in the summer sun Having semi nude fun Fifty weeks of work is what we have to give For two of pleasure
That's it for tonight's show. I'd like to thank David Fremond and all the directors featured tonight. I'd also like to thank all the commentators, without whom this show would just be like sort of points of view, but with music videos and uh, no points of view. Uh, thanks, too, to all of you for watching. Check us out on sky.com slash bug. But until the next time, I love you. Bye!